1992, my husband and I went to Ukraine from America with our eight children. We had two 16-year-olds and it went all the way down to a five-month-old. And being there and being a part of the school system and meeting so many people as we were planting a church. My name is George Markey, and I was a pastor in uh, Kiev, Ukraine. Right now, we've uh, we left Ukraine because of the war, and so we're in Budapest, Hungary. I grew up in Ukraine. Uh, I've been there since I was six, so it's really my home. So uh, this has been a really difficult time. So many of my dearest friends are still in Ukraine. I just called a really special friend of mine who's in Kiev, actually. And just connecting with her and knowing that years ago, she gave her life to Jesus. And because of that, they're standing. And I'm so proud of them, so proud of the Ukrainian people for what they're doing. We're, we're called to minister to Ukraine. And right now, Ukraine, is in Poland, and Ukraine is in Germany, and Ukraine is in Czech Republic, and in Hungary, and other countries, so that's where we want to be. We're kind of coming from the other side that we um, had to leave our home in Russia. We're here in Hungary right now, waiting for the Lord's leading of what He has next for our family. We left Ukraine, we left our uh, community, and then um, after about two days, God, I just woke up and God revealed to me like, hey, I've been moving people around, I've been, and I've been leading you to where you're supposed to be. We've been working on evacuating, on evacuations and delivering aid, uh, food and medicine to the eastern part of Ukraine, where there's the greatest needs. My family, my uncle and aunt, they're in charge of a shelter in our church right now in Chernobyl, and my mom is also helping with that. Every day we have like 60 people staying in our church. Thank you all so much for your hospitality here and uh, your care for Ukraine. Right now we're looking to minister to refugees that are in Europe. We're going to do these worship events that will give them an opportunity to yeah, worship together, but then also to have a time of prayer and a time for people to share things that they've all gone through. A lot of people really want to tell their story. For me, it's been a huge blessing to be able to be with um, each one of my children that are here and seeing the various parts that they've played. I'm so blessed that many of them are just uh, Ukrainian in their hearts and are able to sing and to speak and to speak into the lives of the people that are here. And I just want to thank you guys for praying because we felt your prayers and we have been lifted up by them. Prayers for our friends too that are still in Russia. We have many um, people that are like family to us that are still in Russia right now. And I feel so blessed to be a part of the body of Christ there at Costa Mesa. I love you guys and we're connected in Him. May His kingdom come and His will be done here on earth as it is in heaven. Thank you.